So welcome to week one, workout two, let's go. Right guys, we're just gonna take a warm up to get the heart rate going and get the blood pressure up. So from there, just take a march on the spot, low impact. I think we're just gonna gradually increase the range and we're gonna increase the amount of work that you guys are doing. Good stuff. And then from there, just start to take it a little bit higher. Think about using the hands as well, the arms, just to drive the hips. Good work. And then just bring it to a jog. So not too high. Good work. Good stuff, just 10 seconds here. Well done. And then from there, just to bounce from side to side. So just side to side, bounce, just a little skip. Foot to foot or keep your feet together and just give it a bounce. Good stuff. So just loosening up. I think go backwards and forwards then, feet together. Good. Awesome. So I think we're just gonna work every direction that we can with it as well. And then bring it back to a jog again. Only this time start to bring your heels up behind you. Good job. So when you feel warmer, take it a little bit further. Nice work. And then we'll start to bring it up in front a little bit. So I think knees, so we don't want to go any higher than hip height, but starting to bring it up a bit now. We need to be slightly breathless, so you still be able to talk. Not quite gone that hard yet. Good stuff. Ease it down again, and again, bouncing from side to side. So bring the feet together if you can. Good work, not too far. Just letting the muscles know what's coming. Good work. Good stuff. And then from there, just bring the knees up again in front. Just a quick 10 seconds here, starting to go a little bit higher now. Heart rate coming up. Good work. Excellent, ease it down, heels to your butt. And now taking it up even higher again. Good job. Now start to ease this down and just bounce in on the spot. It'll take a few seconds here. And what we're gonna do, this is gonna bring us into our first exercise. So we're gonna do running on the spot. You guys go as high as you want to, but it's gonna be 30 seconds. So if you wanna go high, you can go as high as you want, work as hard as you want, or you can go lower and you take it, take it to a march. Easy? Lovely stuff, right. So ease it down and we'll start the first 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. So high knee run. So however high you wanna work. If you feel warm enough, then start to go bigger. Good stuff. So we wanna be breathless after this. We wanna feel this as well in the quads and the hips. Try and keep your chest up as you're doing it. Try not to look down. Keep your spine nice and long, good work. 10 seconds more. Heart rate coming up, good. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. Next exercise. <laughs> so walking burpees, so a low impact version of the burpee. If you guys are happy with that, another 15 seconds to recover, then we're gonna take it down. So imagine hands down, one foot, the other foot, then standing back up again. So none of the high impact yet, we're just looking lower. Five seconds. Good work, and let's get to it. So walking burpees, 30 seconds. Good stuff. Excellent. So if you think about trying to keep your feet about hip width apart with this as well, it's gonna help on your hips, your knees, and your lower backs. Good job. And go at whatever pace you want to. You've got 10 seconds more. Well done, guys. As you stand up, try and keep your eyes forwards as well. Don't keep looking down, otherwise this is gonna keep the spine bent. Last one, and recover, good stuff. Just stay here, take a breather, and we're on to laying bridges next. So this one, you're gonna be on your back, feet about hip width apart, flat to the floor, and then from there, you're just gonna bridge up and push up with your hips. So if you wanna take a seat, we're on in 10 seconds. So our feet hip width apart, Beautiful. And then from there, just put your hands with your knuckles to the floor. It's gonna stop you trying to grab hold of it. And then from there, breathe out, push your hips up, keep your core tight. Let's go. 30 seconds, up. Bring your back down, so up. And then think three seconds on the way down if you can. So breathe out as you push up. Keep the core tight, good work. And I want you to stop just an inch above the floor. Now if this gets too hard, you can touch down in between. It's completely up to you guys. 
you can dip in and out for higher and lower options. Nicely done, guys. Three seconds. And relax. Good stuff. Take a second there. Moving on to push-ups. So loads of options with this, guys. Go knees, go toes, or just take less weight. The further back you scoot your butt, the less weight you're gonna be taking. Another five seconds. Assume the position when you're ready. So I could do this on a sofa at home. Up to you guys. So as soon as you're ready, let's go to it. Good work. So try not to hold your breath. Your pace. Breathe out as you push up and concentrate on keeping that core tight. Come to your knees if you want to guys. Loads and loads of options today. Seven seconds left. Good work. Three, two, one, and recover. Awesome, 30 seconds off, shake it off. Give yourself a sec. <laughs> I'm moving on to a plank. Yep. So, could do it with your hands, could do it on your elbows, could do it on your knees, or you can do it on your toes. Loads of options. Up to you guys. Or dip between the two. Right, hands, low pressure. Good stuff, so when you're ready, come back down again. Lock it in tight and let's go. 30 seconds if you can. If this gets too much, come back onto your knees, but try and keep the exercise going. So completely down to you. If you're comfortable there, try and hold it for the 30 seconds. You are halfway through your time already. Concentrate on pulling that belly button in so the core stays tight. There shouldn't be any pressure on your back because your core should still be tight. Good work, guys. Five seconds left, hold on. Three, two, one, and recover. Nice work. So again, 30 seconds off. Shake it off, give yourself a sec. Back to the top. So again, same thing again, high knee run. This time, should be able to go a little bit higher. Should be warmer, should be ready to go. Right, 30 seconds, let's go, time. No pressure at all, just look at the person next to you and know they're quietly judging you. Good stuff. Go on, keep it going, that's 10 seconds, 20 seconds more. So keep it going, if you can, stay on the balls of the feet as well. Make it that little bit harder, good work. Don't forget to use your arms as well, drive up and they'll pull your hips through. Awesome, five seconds, three, Two, one, time, nicely done. 30 seconds off, should be breathing heavier now. Walking burpees. So, if you are feeling warmer, you want the challenge, see how many you can get done in 30 seconds. No pressure. So both hands down, one leg back, the other leg back, other leg forward, other leg forward. Right, let's do it. So 30 seconds, let's go. Guys, well done. So same thing, little tweak, try and take your feet about hip width apart. This will help with balance and it's gonna take a bit of the pressure off your knees as well. Good stuff, guys. Coming up for 10 seconds. Whole body should be working now. Three, two, one, and recover. Good stuff, 30 seconds off. Take a sec, flush that acid out and then bring yourselves to the floor again. So laying bridges, same thing guys. So sit yourselves up, use the time, get yourself into position. Feet should be flat on the floor, hip width apart again. And remember knuckles down towards the floor. So we're not gonna grab hold for dear life. Five seconds, so bring yourself back, prepare. Bend the knees and then breathe out, push up as soon as you're ready, let's go. Again, an inch off the floor if you can. And as with the plank, try and do the same thing. Try and keep the core tight with this. So your whole spine should be long and neutral for this. Good work. Should feel this in the glutes, the hamstrings, and your lower back as well. Nicely done, guys. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe out as you push up. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. 
two exercises left. We've got the push-ups again, and then we've got a plank hold, and that's it, you guys are done. Good stuff. So, push-ups, as soon as you're ready. Get yourself down again. So, whichever option you wanna to go to, you can dip in between options as well. Let's go, 30 seconds. So decide what you want to do. The main thing is that you complete the exercise. So if you want to go to lower impact, you can. 30 seconds is a long time if you're on your toes. Beautiful, guys. Well done. Nice work. So the higher in the air your butt goes, the less weight you're taking on the hands. Loads of options. Three two, one, and relax. Perfect timing. Good stuff. Last exercise, so plank hold. So again, same thing. Knees, toes, hands or elbows, whatever you guys want to do. Pick something that's going to challenge you but not going to kill you. Good stuff. Five seconds. Okay, into position. 30 seconds on. And same thing again. So you've already been using your core for the other exercises. The push-ups and the bridges will have challenged it. So it should be harder this time around. Good stuff, guys. Just concentrate, keep that spine flat and long. So if you feel any pressure in your lower back, it's because your core's starting to fail and your back's starting to arch. So just come to your knees if you feel that. Good work. And relax. Excellent, job done. Twice through, whole workout done, guys, well done. Good work. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, if you guys want to go on your fronts to begin, mm -hmm. mix it up. And then from there, just take one foot, pull it back to your butt, quads to start off with. And your other arm, you could just put underneath your head and chill, good. So that's with the other guys. If you want to increase the stretch, just push your hips forwards a little bit. And you should feel this in the front of the leg into your quads. Again, just about 30 seconds here, let the muscle start to ease off. If the stretch starts to go, then go a little bit further. Good work, and then just switch sides. Nicely done. Same thing, just try and sink into the mat. Feel the stretch. If you can't feel it, just push the hips forwards a little bit more. that back all you're going to do just come onto your knees into child pose so with the hands stay on the floor and stretch yourself back so put the arms out straight in front of you that's it and then just push down into it so you should feel this in the shoulders and into the upper back as well ease this back, come back onto your knees. Good work, then from there, take one knee through. So you're just gonna step up onto your hand, onto your foot. That's it. And then from there, rear hip flexor. So all you're gonna do is push that hip forwards at the back. Might wanna lengthen your stride for this. Good. Nice job, so I should feel this at the front hip on the rear side where your knee is down, yeah? Good stuff, and then from there, stay where you are, and then just straighten the front leg out, and tip forwards for hamstrings. Hopefully without falling over. Good work. And again, leave a slight bend in the knee if you can, and you'll feel it more into the hamstrings. Nicely done. And then we're just gonna switch sides. Good stuff, so hip flexor again. So again, push your hip forwards, and you feel this in the back hip. Good job, if you can't feel this, it's normally because you're leaning forward, so just pull back a couple of inches and you'll feel it more. Lovely. And again, same thing with this side, so just stretch back. And then just tip forwards. If you can, keep your spine long for this as well, you'll feel the stretch more. 
And don't worry about toe position either. Just wherever you can feel the stretch into the hamstring. Sometimes you pull the toes up too far and you feel it in the calf. We're not after that. Good work. And then just pull the leg back, come onto your knees. <laughs> yeah, just sit back onto your legs if you can. And then take one arm across the body, so rear delts. That's all we're doing. That's it. So if you hold onto your elbow, drop the shoulder an inch and then engage a little bit further. Got it. Good stuff. So you should feel this on the back of the arms into the shoulder as well. Rear delts. Good work. And then switch sides, go with the other side. Good stuff. Last couple of stretches. So just hold onto that elbow, take it back for triceps. So the arm you've got. Just pop it behind your head for tricep stretch like Brett. And again, lift the head, just lift the chest a couple of inches and you'll increase the stretch. Solid, good work. And then switch sides. Same thing, just lift a couple of inches with your head. And then just let that tension go. Bring yourselves back down and you are done guys. Really good work. Excellent. There was this one period of time, uh, I think it was year 10 or whatever, and I got badly injured. I was out for like nine months and I really realized how important sport was for my mental health there because yeah, I got into, I got into trouble back then at school, but I'd never had because I could release all the energy and everything playing sport. Whereas when I was injured, I was in school just causing trouble because I was bored and I was angry, frustrated. So I'd be cheeky, uh, just mess around, not do any of the work, couldn't be bothered. Because I was literally just upset that I couldn't play sport. So for me, say I've been on a bad job, or whatever, I can just take my mind off of it by go home, play with my friends there at home. like. You just, you're just laughing for no reason. You're talking about absolute rubbish. And it just helps you like detox your mind in a way. Doing physical exercise and sport really takes your mind off that. And oh, well, I couldn't suggest it enough. And just having people to talk to as well, or finding something for you that works to just switch the mind. So video games, uh, anything, reading books, like, yeah, I've started reading books again as well. Uh, not very good at reading, but it's just a great way to indulge yourself in something that's so make-believe that it's kind of cringy, but like really great to just switch your mind away.